I'm back to embellish these beach pores. I did it on October 11th and it is now November 4th so I feel like it's been enough time to dry and I want to show you how I clean them. I have a soapy rag here that has Dawn on it. This is just a wet rag and I'm just going to scrub them down with the soapy rag. to get the silicone off. So that way when we're laying the resin, there's no pitting. And then I'm going to get my wet rag and just give it a wipe, kind of rinsing the soap off. I'm going to get a dry towel, just dry them off, and that's it. I'm going to let them dry overnight, and tomorrow we'll come back and put the resin on and embellish them with some seashells sand dollars, starfish. They're going to be really cool. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I let these dry for about 24 hours and I'm actually going to take a towel now and spray a little rubbing alcohol. And just wipe it down. Hopefully we'll get all the silicone off. I have my resin mixed up. I actually have my gloves on. Woohoo! And here are my seashells. I got them from the seashell company. And it's just an assortment of little tiny seashells, sand dollars, and starfish. And also, before I started this, I put some Mod Podge on my sand dollars and my starfish. I'm trying to look for it so I can show you. If not, they will become kind of see through, translucent see through. The resin does it to them. So I, anyways, I put a little Mod Podge on it. So I just picked out a couple shells that I think I will like. And but we'll probably need more. I have my torch for the bubbles. This has gone through some stuff, you can tell. I'm going to move my seashells off to the side. And I'm going to pour some resin in the middle. I'm just smoothing it around, spreading it out.
torch the bubbles a little bit. And then I'm going to start, I'm gonna take off my glove because it's kind of hard to grab these seashells. And just lay down some shells. And some starfish, sand dollars, wherever you want. That one's upside down. So I'm just gonna get a little stick and flip it. and do it just to your taste. You can have as many as you want, as little as you want. I'm kind of going a little crazy. I guess this is my shell beach. And then when you feel like you have enough, you wanna just pour some resin over those shells. I'm going to put another glove on. And I want to kind of rub this resin in. If there is any silicone left over, This kind of helps. Now I want to torch the bubbles. And I'm going to move this one off to the side. Now guys, I forgot the most important step, which is taping the backs, but I can show you on this one. So I'm gonna be dremeling a lot of resin off the back of that. So I'm going to get my alcohol. I'm just giving it a little white. And then important tape the back.
I'm just gonna pull these out right up to the edge. Put those right back in. So I wiped it down with alcohol. I have the backs taped. I'm going to get at least one glove on. These gloves are terrible. I usually use nitrile gloves. I keep saying in every video, <laughs> they ran out here in Key West. I need to order some online. All right, and then I'm gonna get my shells. This one, I'm gonna try to keep everything towards the water line, maybe not so far out. And I always put them upside down. So you can just flip them over. This one I'm just digging here, through here, looking for something different. And I think that's about it. And I'm just locking these shells in. And I'm torching the bubbles. And that's it guys, it's super easy. I'm gonna take this down so you can see it. And then we'll see what happens when they dry. I'll be back in the morning.
Hey guys, so these are almost all the way dry and they turned out pretty good. I noticed that some of the starfish floated while it was drying into the beachy part and I just left it. It looks pretty cool. But I'm not finding any divots. Now this one, when I took it off of the trash bag, it got stuck onto the trash bag. Stuff like this happens. But it's kind of perfect because I can show you how to fix it. So I'll do it in a separate video. And what I do is use a high grit sandpaper and I will just sand that little part and then I'll re-resin. I'll pour another coat of resin over it and it'll be perfect. But they're really pretty. I hope you liked my video. Please like, hit the like button if you do, and don't forget to subscribe.